Stay cold in the trunk. Well, I'm back. Road rants on the onward update. Box office update. It's stumbling. You, it's true what they say. You go woke, you go broke. In another long line of underperforming woke classics like Terminator Dark Fate, Birds of Prey, and uh, Charlie's Angels, <laughs> onward, now a Pixar, now Pixar's getting in on the, we just don't want to make no money because we're trying to spread a social agenda. Well, I'm going to give you a quick update. As you can see, the petition that um, to boycott Disney's uh, new kids film Onward because of the LGBT LMNOPQ RSTUV uh, agenda is now over 55,000 signatures. When we checked in the other day and I made the video, it was somewhere in the low 40,000 range. Okay, so that's where that stands. Scott Mendelson has now wrote a article about uh, the box office stumbling. It opened at twelve point one million. Considering how much grief Universal and Illumination took when the Secret Life of Pets only opened at forty seven million last summer, it's not great at all for the new Pixar movie to be opening with just forty million in its domestic debut. It had 12.1 million Friday, including 2 million from Thursday previews. That's just barely ab above the 39 million Friday through Sunday launch of A Good Dinosaur. Uh, 42 million adjusted for inflation. It's higher than the 33 million Friday through Sunday launch for A Bug's Life in 1998. Ditto A Toy Story in 1995. And here is the key. In terms of tickets sold, this is Pixar's lowest debut ever. So, um, my video I made the other day, the SJWs are tearing my ass up on it. And you know what? I don't care. You're not going to tell me what I should subject my children to. Sorry, not going to do it, okay? Uh, I said the Midwest, Middle America, Southern America, there are certain, we've, you know, there's religious preferences here, uh, and there's certain ways we're going to raise our children, and we're not going to have it forced on us. You will not try to, on the cool, as we call it, try to spread some message uh, to our children Without asking us first, you won't do it. We just won't spend money. And Hollywood, they don't seem to be learning their lesson. Movies are underperforming over and over and over again. I mean, the agenda in The Last Jedi, shit, look what's happened. That movie underperformed and The Rise of Skywalker dropped off the map. Okay, we see it over and over again. Terminator Dark Fate flopped, fell straight on its face. And here we are. You tried a blatant social message and agenda in your movie in terms of tickets sold. This is Pixar's lowest debut ever. Think there's not a correlation there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know a single person to take their kid to see this movie now. Not a single one. By the way, before anybody tries to pull any bullshit on me, that is... By the way, this was... This is moms. This is a one million moms boycott. This is moms. Okay, this was started by parents, mothers. Uh, a Latino mother, by the way. I don't really know a single African American, Latino, or white family here in Texas that would probably take their kids to see this movie now. And honestly, the ones I know that are in a gay or lesbian home might get pissed off enough over this that they wouldn't take their kids because they don't they don't prescribe to this sort of thing either. 
Why? Because it's tokenizing and it's pandering. You're trying to tokenize their lifestyle in order to make a buck, Pixar. And that's how that's viewed. Maybe it's a Texas thing. Maybe it's a Southern thing. Maybe it's, maybe it's a Midwest thing. Maybe it's a Middle America thing. It's going to be a Donald Trump's getting reelected thing. Yeah, I went there. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Cold in the trunk.